So you've just installed the OS, um, the Snow Leopard OS. You're probably going to try to boot and this is probably what you're going to get. This is absolutely normal. What you need to do is um, put in your Empire EFI CD and then go ahead and reboot. Hit F12 so you can select the boot order. Select your drive. <clears throat> it's absolutely normal because Mac uses uh, EFI instead of uh, uh, PC BIOS. So Chameleon will take care of that. You also can use the iBoot CD from uh, Tony Mac, um, but since uh, EFI works just as well, um, so you'll see that you have the other option at this point you have the Empire EFI CD and now that's the hard drive um, I had previously labeled OS X uh, once you select that so you, if you notice I did not swap out the um, this uh, drive for the uh, installation CD just it this is booting off the actual uh, hard drive where you just recently installed the OS And if you're successful, um, it, it's going to show you this welcome um, video. So before you sign on, the rest of the stuff is pretty much, uh, uh, you know, putting in your name and all that stuff. So it's pretty standard. Um, the next video uh, show you how to I'll show you how to um, add all the drivers and the um, and the uh, DST and the uh, chameleon on your uh, on your hard drive so you don't have to have a boot CD